Hey friends, welcome to Tip Tuesday. So today I'm going to show you the absolute best way to join this yarn to this yarn and make it look as smooth and as seamless as possible. So if you are interested, keep watching. A few years ago, I learned how to join two different yarns together. And I'm gonna teach you how to do that today. Now, since then, I've learned what I believe is the best method to make sure that these tails don't come undone and this knot doesn't come undone. But first, we're gonna start at step one, and that is to show you how to attach these. So the first thing I do is I make two parallel lines that are roughly six to eight inches long, and I kind of overlap them going in opposite directions, as you can see. Now I'll take one color, I'll go underneath, and even if you're doing the same color, it doesn't matter. You wanna leave a long enough tail to tie because this is going to be what you weave in. So you stick it underneath the yarn, and you're gonna tie it just like you were getting ready to tie your shoe. Tie it and pull it nice and tight. And so we've got one side attached over here. Then we're gonna take this color, the loose one that's untied, we're going to go under that one Then making sure that you have a long enough tail and I'll kind of scoot it down if need be and have a long enough tail so that you can weave it in, pull it tight. And so you can see we've got kind of like this circle here that we've made. So you're going to take each working yarn end and you're going to pull and watch the magic take place. We're just pulling and we pull it until that knot is nice and together. So I mean, I'm pulling hard as you can see, like I've got white knuckles and I'm pulling hard and it's not coming undone. What I've learned is when I'm working up a project and I've joined my yarn like this, I don't snip these. Oftentimes people will take their scissors and they'll just go snip, snip, and they'll cut really, really close to that. Here's what I do and here's why I don't do that. Now, as I leave these tails long enough that I can just do two to three quick little zip, zip, zip passes into the project and then I snip the yarn. There have been times, especially with this slicker yarn, if it's a wool, you're probably okay cutting it right there at the knot. I wouldn't do it, but you'd probably be fine if you were in a time pinch or something. But this slicker yarn, when you cut over time as it's getting washed and worn and used and all of that, those fibers can sort of come loose. But whenever you take the time to just weave in that little section, it ensures that those fibers get nice and uh, stuck within one another. And therefore the likelihood of them coming undone is much, much less. So really simple little tip for today, but one that I think is crucial for your success. I know for me, just a quick story time. I had a horrible incident. I was so embarrassed and mortified before I learned this technique where I sold a blanket. It was my very first one to ever sell. And within about a week of this mama to be getting ready to welcome her baby girl, she washed the blanket per my instructions and it came undone. And you know where it came undone? at all the places I had joined the yarn, not like this, but just tying them together, which is how I had originally learned. So learn from my mistakes <laughs> moving forward. And especially if you are somebody who is selling or gifting your handmade items, you want to have confidence that nothing is gonna come undone. And this is the best tip technique that I have come up with. And my stuff doesn't come undone. And I've gifted lots and lots of things since, and I've sold lots and lots of things since too. So. Hopefully that will uh, give you confidence and help you feel good about giving or selling your items and you don't have to worry about anything coming undone when people go to wash it. Tomorrow I'll be sharing a quick whip that will only require a one skein of a big Karen cake yarn that I think you're going to love. So you'll want to stay tuned. Bye friends. See you tomorrow.